Today I'm going to show you how to set up receipt printing as well as how to reprint receipts if needed. To set this up we'll go to configuration system. I'll collapse the view and receipt printing is under accounting management family accounting and we'll double click here on receipt options. First of all you'll want to make sure you turn receipt printing on then there are a number of choices to make. One is the format that you'd like for receipts. One per page means one receipt gets printed on a page. Uh, two receipts per page means it'll print uh, for family A at the top of the page and family B at the bottom of the page. And duplicate receipt means it would print a copy of the receipt um, on the bottom of the page. And then you could just cut the page in half. But I'm going to pick one receipt per page. And then you can choose if you want this apply to all families, which should say all tracking items, or if you wanted to pick a particular group of families. For example, you could create a tracking category called receipt requested if you only wanted to print receipts for certain specified families. I'm going to leave mine set to all tracking categories. And then how do you want to store and print the receipt? Uh, you can choose confirm print and store. This means that it will ask you each time, do you want to print a receipt? And also store it so it can be reprinted later. You can choose auto print and store. That means when you record a payment, it will automatically print a receipt uh, without asking you. And it will also store it. Or you can say store only. That means it will not print a receipt at that time, but you could later come back and reprint it if needed. OK, I'm going to leave mine set to confirm print and store. Check this box if you want receipt numbers printed on the receipts. Check this box if you want the full school address printed. Check this box if you want it, the names of children who are currently enrolled on the receipt. And also if you want your tax ID number included. And then you can put in the receipt number that you want it to start on. And you can put a message that will appear on the bottom of everyone's receipt if you'd like to. Over on the right, you check off the categories for which you want receipts. These are your payment descriptions. I'm going to choose receipts uh, for payments by check and by cash. And I'm going to click Save and Exit. And then we'll go and take a look at a family. We'll go to Family Accounting. I'll choose this first family. Let's say that they make a payment. I'll go to their ledger card. And down at the bottom here, I'm going to type in PMT, the first few letters of payment by check. Tab over to my comment. That would usually be the check number. And then tab over to the amount. Make sure that's right. And click Post. And at this point, it asks me, if I want to print a receipt, I could say yes, and it would send it to my printer. Now, later on, if I wanted to be able to reprint that receipt, I can go to Functions, Family Accounting, and I can choose Stored Receipts. So this will give me a list of all the receipts that have been printed, or even the ones that maybe weren't printed. For example, here's one without a check mark that indicates a receipt that is stored but I must have answered no when it asked me if I wanted to print it. I never actually printed that one out. So if I needed to reprint a receipt for someone, I would just choose the appropriate one, place a check by it, click print. This is going to be an exact duplicate of the original receipt. So if later you went back and changed the amount or voided the entry or made some other alteration to it, your receipt is going to print the way the original payment was recorded. And that's all there is to setting up receipt printing and reprinting receipts.